Good morning. There's an article coming out of RT this morning, and I wanted to get ahead of it before the YouTube fear mongers took the stage, as they usually do. Uh, it's one of those situations, like many, in which the headline seems quite alarming, but once you dig into the details, you find out that it's probably a non-issue after all. So, let's jump on over the article. Of course, I will leave a link to this in the description and in the first comment. As you see, the scary headlines say, Shipping Giant Issues Warning Over Global Supply Chain. Ooh. Right, you're going to have people really going crazy over this today. But let's go ahead and unpack the article and let's talk about why it's probably not going to be an issue at all. It says the disruptions to global supply chains caused by the ongoing tensions in the Red Sea could last for a year, Japanese shipping giant Mitsui OSK Lines, or MOL, has warned. Major players in the shipping industry, including MOL, have temporarily stopped using the Suez Canal, a critical maritime trade route connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea, and a vital sea lane for energy and cargo between Asia and Europe. This followed dozens of drone and missile attacks carried out by the Yemen-based Houthi rebels in the Red Sea since the beginning of the Israeli-Hamas war in October. It's a historic event, MOL President Takeshi Hashimoto said in an interview with Bloomberg referring to the transit halt by shipping operators. The situation, this is a quote, the situation will continue at least for the coming two or three months and is a worst case scenario six months or one year, he noted. MOL is one of the world's largest ship operators with a fleet of around 800 vessels. There are currently, now this is where it's important to pay attention, there are currently enough ships available to weather the disruption according to Hashimoto. However, and this is a caveat, if the global economy were to suddenly grow and demand for goods increased, there would be a shortage of shipping capacity, he warned. So that is the takeaway that we need to really look at here and, and unwrap because, again, it states... If the global economy were to suddenly grow and demand for goods increased, I don't see that happening. I just, I do not see that happening. And in fact, I see the global economic situation as becoming worse and worse as each day passes. I don't think there's any chance that there's all of a sudden going to be a much greater demand for goods around the planet. I don't see that happening even for a moment. So that's probably the most important thing to take away from this article. This isn't a, a for sure, you know, carved in stone kind of thing. There would have to be a major increase in the demand for those goods. Now, if there is, obviously there could be issues. But as it stands, they even say themselves that there is plenty of ships to take care of the current demand. So when you see all the YouTube uh, fear mongers come out today and or over the coming days and start warning about, oh, we're going to run out of everything, uh, just remember that they're doing what they normally do, and that's mislead, lie, or stretch the truth in order to get you to keep clicking on those videos. So, I don't know. I bet, uh, I bet we could probably at least count 10 fearmonger videos today alone. We'll see. Have a great day. Shalom.